Mitchell Chosudovsky, born 1946, is a Canadian economist, author and conspiracy theorist. He is Professor Emeritus of Economics at the University of Ottawa and the President and Director of the Centre for Research on Globalization, which publishes conspiracy theories. Chosudovsky has promoted 9 11 conspiracy theories. In 2017, the Center for Research on Globalization was accused by NATO information warfare specialists of playing a key role in the spread of pro Russian propaganda. Biography <inaudible> 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 Chosudovsky is the son of a Russian Jewish émigré, the career United Nations diplomat and academic Evgeny Chosudovsky, and an Irish Protestant, Rachel Sullivan. Raised in Switzerland, Chosudovsky moved to Canada and joined the University of Ottawa in 1968. According to the Ottawa Citizen, Chosudovsky's academic research kept him on the margins of mainstream academia", but won praise from anti-establishment intellectuals such as Noam Chomsky. In 2005, shortly after Chosudovsky began writing about terrorism, The Citizen reported that Chosudovsky's was, "...a popular figure among anti-globalization activists", and that some of his students referred to him as, Canada's Chomsky. At that time, some colleagues were becoming uncomfortable with Chosudovsky's ideas, with one professor describing them as having a conspiratorial element. In 2005, Chosudovsky published the book America's War on Terrorism. According to the New York Times, the conspiracy minded book argued that the September 11, 2001, attacks were simply a pretext for American incursions into the Middle East, and that bin Laden was nothing but a boogeyman created by the United States." The book was found in the bookshelf in Osama bin Laden's compound Abbottabad, Pakistan. According to the Vox website, the book's theory is that 9-11 was a United States government conspiracy to start the Iraq War and enable a New World Order to help corporate interests. Bin Laden was, at best, a pawn in CIA interests. Chosudovsky has contributed to the French magazine Le Monde Diplomatique. He is frequently quoted by or appears on RT formerly known as Russia Today or in material issued by the Sputnik News Agency. Both RT and Sputnik are Kremlin-backed. The Center for Research on Globalization in turn regularly reposts content from both networks. Chosudovsky was interviewed in the documentary film The Weight of Chains, which the Center for Research on Globalization amongst others sponsored. <laughs> Center for Research on Globalization In 2001, Chosudovsky founded the Center for Research on Globalization, becoming its editor and director. Located in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, it describes itself as an independent research and media organization that provides analysis on issues which are barely covered by the mainstream media. The Center for Research on Globalization promotes a variety of conspiracy theories and falsehoods. 
It has reported that the September 11 attacks were a false flag attack planned by the CIA, that the United States and its allies fund Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State, and that sarin gas was not used in the Khan Sheikh and chemical attack, which GlobalResearch.ca articles characterized as a false flag operation orchestrated by terrorists opposed to Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. Other articles published on the site have asserted that the 7th of July 2005 London bombings were perpetrated by the United States, Israel, and United Kingdom. Chosudovsky has himself posted articles on the site which suggested that Osama bin Laden was a CIA asset, and accusing the United States, Israel and Britain of plotting to conquer the world. The centre has also promoted the Irish slavery myth, prompting a letter by more than 80 scholars debunking the myth. According to PolitiFact, the centre has advanced specious conspiracy theories on topics like 9 11, vaccines, and global warming. Foreign Policy notes that the centre sells books and videos that expose how the September 11 terrorist attacks were most likely a special covert action to further the goals of corporate globalization." A 2010 study categorized the website as a source of anti-vaccine misinformation. The Atlantic Council's Digital Forensic Research Lab described it as pro-Putin and anti-NATO". The Jewish Tribune described the center as being "...rife with anti-Jewish conspiracy theory and Holocaust denial." Writing for the New Republic, Muhammad Idris Ahmed, lecturer in digital journalism at the University of Stirling, describes the center's website as a "...conspiracy site." In November 2017, The Globe and Mail reported that the center's website was in the sights of NATO information warfare specialists investigating the online spread of pro-Russia propaganda and of disinformation. According to The Globe, NATO's Strategic Communications Center of Excellence Stratcom believed that the site was playing a key accelerant role in helping popularized articles with little basis in fact that also happened to fit the narratives being pushed by the Kremlin and the Syrian regime of Bashar al-Assad. The report described the site as an online refuge for conspiracy theorists and suggested that NATO specialists viewed it as a link in a concerted effort to undermine the credibility of mainstream Western media as well as the North American and European public's trust in government and public institutions. Asked to comment on the report, Chosudovsky responded through his lawyer, saying that the center did not have ties to pro Russia or pro Assad networks, was not affiliated with governmental organizations", and did not benefit from their support. Works War and Globalization – The Truth Behind September 11, Global Research, 2003, ISBN 9780973110906 the Globalization of Poverty and the New World Order, Global Research, 2003, ISBN 9780973714708 America's War on Terrorism Global Research, 2005, OCLC 785862235
towards a World War III scenario, the dangers of nuclear war, global research, 2011, OCLC 940588105. Topic Awards Gold Medal for Merit of the Republic of Serbia, twenty fourteen.